Hi, Internet. I just stopped and started. Let's go. So the very first thing we need to do is buy an item. Actually, no. The first thing we need to do is equip the stuff that we gained from... I never remember to actually do this. Alright, who wants the plus four versus plus five? You know what? Hux, congratulations on your rune wand. The more important one is the wisdom rope. Which is the same as what I already have? Really? Okay, we're selling stuff. Going back to Glasgow City. Well, might as well go to the dojo first to promote Ash, because Ash gets all new equipment, if I remember right. Vents? Ash? Bandelier! By the power of the gods of light and darkness, grant this soul new wisdom and powers in the service of mankind. The last time we get to hear the ditty. Doesn't it bring you back? And that is how dorky Ash looks. Congratulations on Ash's new symbol. Oh, I forgot to check before and after on stats. I can do that pretty quick, though. So, Ash is level 28 with 259 hit points. Here are your new weapons and armor to match your new skills. Get the faith. So, part of the problem is we're not going to be able to do a direct one-to-one -one comparison because Ash had equipment that... I mean... He didn't have a weapon, but he had his old armor and helmet. But we can at least highlight over them to see 18 and 39. So we can sort of do a comparison. Uh, Neo Vandalier's Heart T. What? It's supposed to be Vandal Heart Reforged. I think I said Reforged Vandal or something like that, but you'll notice it's Vandal Helm and Vandal Armor. And when you look at this status screen, it doesn't look like his spells have actually changed. It's in battle that you will notice. Um, Head to the shop and sell Doof. So, oh, 18... Yeah, it doesn't even show it. Anyway. Don't worry, I'm going to use these items so I can show off what they look like. Um... You know what? We might as well actually buy a better staff for the staff users. Because what else are we doing with money, right? Yes. The great Xeno's staff is one attack power better. You see why I don't bother upgrading staves? Uh, apparently I now have access to Mortal Kombat 11 on Xbox Game Pass. Cool. I uh, don't care. Life orb. Used orb on Eamon. Oh, that's no, right. We used the attack item on Eamon. We used orb on Zohar. We'll transfer the other dragon pang into Eamon. And there it is. Eamon. I like having the magic items on flyers because it's more convenient to move around. Speaking of, I forgot to look to see what items does Darius have. Magic scroll, that's what it is. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to actually save this here into a separate slot so I can quickly grab a screenshot of what Ash looked like before and after. So, one moment. Alright. So this is the quick comparison between Ash before and after. Ash is a paragon. No, damn it, I can always do that. Down below, Ash is a um, kick-ass in 
take names is up above. Notice that his stats are close to and or sometimes more than double what they used to be. Um, his attack went up by 98, his defense went up by 120, and his agility went up by 150, or 149. His hit points also went up by 58. Just saying, it is ridiculous. Completely and utterly absurd, and he doesn't even need to melee. I will show you this. Um, I mean, turn that off, and let's go ahead and move. Because we've got Dolph to fight. We are in the final battle. This is the final video of the plot. I am going to do some videos later that will include the, um, which one call it? Uh, extra battles at the end that I'm supposed to have, but I don't know anything about them. Impressive. I greatly underestimated you. Dolph. What are you planning? This continues. Everyone in Astaria will wind up dead. Do you want to be the ruler of a kingdom of ghosts? So this is something that has kind of been in the background for a while now, is that Dolph is obsessed with death, but what's Dolph actually want? What good is destroying the world? <laughs> you completely misunderstand me. It's neither power nor glory that I seek. It is revenge for the death of my father, Eris, that I seek. That's right. This entire game has been a battle between two people whose daddies were allied with each other. All of Vandal Hearts is Clive's fault. The entire game from start to finish. Now... Hell Spites is not Clive's fault. There still would have probably been something like that, but Dolph was the one that got Hell to actually get off his posterior and do something. The world still would have sucked. You still would have had the Crimson Guard. You still would have had that part, but none of it would have succeeded without Dolph. Because remember, Dolph's also the one that threw a spy in your party, so that's the only way... Um, Hellspites even knew that you were going to Gilbaras Island. Not to mention, Dolph is also, or Hellspites is the one that sent General Dunbar to Gilbaras Island to start all of this madness because Dolph told him to. Because Dolph's been the one looking for the Flames of Judgment this entire time. Do you see what I mean by the entire thing is Clive's fault? We just didn't know until right now. Iris the Sage! Greatest hero of Astaria was your father? father was the greatest patriot of our history, but he was used and thrown away like a lump of coal. His place in history was forgotten, even as the people enjoyed the prosperity that was hard won with his blood. I vowed I would take revenge on those who forgot him. It was then I learned, and then that I met Zeno and learned of the flames of judgment. Fool! To use such power for petty revenge! You would destroy the world to settle your own puny debts? Even so, I have no qualms with what I am doing. I will cleanse this filthy world and all of the wicked beings that dwell within. You're wrong. I will give you that this world is full of evil and suffering, but there's still value in living in it. The people are full of both good and evil, and those full of love and hate. You can't throw the baby out with the bathwater, and I will not abandon this world. Sectimonious whelp. How many souls have you yourself released from their corporeal bondage? Well then, why don't you see if you can stop me? And now, time for the final battle. But I'm going to show off a bit first. So I'm going to do an in-battle save right here. I don't need to. I can just load from magic. So there's actually multiple pages. Fun fact, the first time I played as a Vandalier, I just saw this and went, okay, so my spells end at phase shift. I was supposed to, thought I was supposed to get all of them. I didn't realize there was multiple pages. But so far, it looks like the list only includes, like, 
Vandal Hearts 1, or PlayStation 1 version. I cannot cast Supreme Healing, though, because I'm not high enough level. I uh, need two more MP. I think I would have it if I was level 30. That's right, you never actually saw Holy Pressure, because we don't have Sarah as a healer. Um, what else have you not seen? Yep, this is where we start getting into the enemy healing. Enemy abilities. There's Plasma Wave. Cost 15, but, you know. Dark Fire, Explosion. Dynamo Hum is something that we don't get to see yet. Um, hint, Dolph has it. Uh, then there's the items. Oh, hey, look, we could just use a Soul Water for free. Constantly. See what I mean by this being ridiculous? Evil Stream, which was apparently range 9. That's good to know. We also actually get to see what type of magic things are from here. So, Madness Book is holding magic. Mushroom is poison magic. Moon Pie heals. Self only, it looks like. Fairy Boots is protection magic. Unicorn Head is an attack item. Royal Foil is healing magic, and it looks like a healing circle. Demon Stone is an attack item. Magic Scroll is just area around self. Huh. Don't bother to... Aha! The Necklace is an attack item. Now we have all of the extra stuff that got added in. So Flying Eagles. Killer Skeleton? That must be either... Uh, that must be a ninja ability on either Zohar or on... Or, yeah, I would guess either Zohar or Neil and I. Sweet Dream. Holding Magic. An AoE old? That's awesome! Who has that? I want it. And I have to go through all the pages again. Double Impact. It's a nice AoE. I might try that out. Hollow, Frost Dragons, and that's it. So, this is the page that got added. Although, necklaces already existed. Hmm. Anyway. So, let's mess around a little bit first. Let's find out what some of these things do. Um, let's see. Luckily, the spells that he can't cast are ones that I've we've seen before, so it's not that big of a deal. We're going to try this out on a Guardian, so it's going to do the most amount of damage possible. So, Killer Skeleton! Skull! Chomp! 132 damage. Also, Ash is going to level up so damn fast in this battle. From the beginning. Again, we're going to be goofing off for a bit. I want to see what some of these things are. Um, what else have we not seen? Sweet Dream. Damn it. Uh, Sweet Dream. Don't worry, Kitty Cat. You're going to be fed soon enough. Sure. Sweet dream! They had fun with the spell effects on the Saturn version, didn't they? What the hell? I want to know which character gets that. That might be Hux. Still, that was pretty aw- I mean, an AoE Paralyze would have been awesome. Admittedly, that's a capstone spell, so you wouldn't have gotten it until level 27. But we would have only had it for the last couple of battles. 
All right, um, we need double impact. That's the only other, and run out peak. Well, let's do run out peak. It's a single target spell. That's it. 90 damage. That's it. That was 20 MP. Who gets that spell? Is it Ash? I mean, that would... No, it's Eagles. are almost strictly better. Anyway, once more, back from the beginning. Don't worry, I will show off Dolph and so on, but I want to do this first. So we've got double impact. Now you curl up in my lap. Hit all them. It's like a holy lightning equivalent. I wonder if that's Hux. Because Huxley has holy lightning. Okay. I mean, don't get me wrong, that was nearly a full level of XP for what you just did. Now let's try some of the items out. Because there are items that we have not tried using yet. Once more, we are trying this on that guardian there. Might as well move up all the way. Necklace. We'll do that. But what does the necklace do anyway? Oh, it's that spell. Dark Hurricane, I believe. And bonk. Okay. Okay. Necklace looks to be a useful spell. Or useless item. Uh, useful item. Yeah, I can't speak. What other items do we have that we haven't used? I mean, I can show you Holy Pressure, since you haven't seen that. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that you haven't seen other than Dynamo Hum. I haven't seen a demon stone yet. Demon stone! Oh, I should have moved up one more to hit more things. I remember saying this. I mean, it's a decent attack, that's for sure. 58 damage in that large of an area is not anything to shrug at. So I think we're done playing around for a bit, and now we're going to go for the real stuff. So, time to show off Dolph, because the Dolph is the only enemy in here that we have not seen before. Doom Lord. So Dolph is armor-based and has healing circle. Knows he doesn't technically have a weapon. It's kind of weird. Oh yeah, and I... No, there's one more thing I need to show. Oops. Not there. His attack. Oh, that's actually a slightly different attack. Notice, block, and his shield is a part of his hand. Also, notice how much damage he dealt? That was to an armor foe. So, highest defense in the game. He isn't weak against any type of attack, either. Ash can solo the entire end part of the game, basically. You do have to be a little careful with a situation like this where he gets too many people attacking him, because he'll one-shot most things that attack him. 
Anyway, we're not doing that. We're gonna be sillier. Very silly. Yeah, how do you like it now, suckers? So that does use up almost all of Ash's MP, but you know how many various, like, life orbs I have? I gained nearly two levels from doing that. you see why I do what I do now? And yes, I am correct. At level 30, Ash does have 30 MP. Alright. So far. Frost Dragons. Okay, we're gonna need to get too closer. So there. I want the entire middle section cleared out, basically. Oh, damn it, they're not actually dead. Well, that's fine. A salamander will actually finish them off. The front one's dead. Hey, look, 81 XP, so Zohar is level 30. Uh, I'm gonna need to zoom out so I can see what I'm actually hitting. I stand right here in the middle and be a dumbass. What am I hitting? Oh, I hit the mages. And I don't hit that goober there. Uh, in that case, I can move down three. This might not hit the... Yeah, I need to move here. Salamander. That should finish off everybody in the middle. Which is important. Also deal healthy amounts of damage to the folks on the sides. I actually finish off the guards. Nope, not quite. Five. Twenty-two. Forty-six. But you see what I mean? This is just ridiculous! I'm only using mages who are, at this point in the game, the weakest characters. But I'm gaining massive amounts of XP for doing this. It's kinda nuts. So... If you power level the game, where you're doing that trick that allows people to be at maximum level, the strongest character in the game is Eel and I. Well, Ash is the strongest by virtue of being Vandalier, but I'm not counting Vandalier. Because Eel and I can still one-shot everything in the game. With her melee weapon. Even though she only has 81 attack right now. Dragon Fang. Oh, I only hit two? Really? Stupid height. I can hit three. If I was standing there, I might be able to hit four. Curiosity. No, I wouldn't have been able to hit four. Okay. We're going to stand here. And Dragon Fang, wiping out three more enemies. I might only wipe out two enemies. I don't know if the Bahamut will die from this. Nope. <clears throat> but it's in squishy range, so I don't care. 59 more XP. If 
by the way, did I mention this battle is really easy? I don't think I did. I can't reach the other Darken, unfortunately. I'd only be able to do that if Darius was in our turn. So basically, what I'm worried about is that Bahamut wrecking the day of my arch or my mages. So I am going to make myself a prime target, unfortunately, by making a plus of doom. Wait, can I get away with not making a plus of doom? Can you reach anybody right now? No! Well, that's easy. Oh yeah, I could have just magic charged Ash back up. But nobody has given Ash the life orb yet, so I'm, I think I'm gonna just do that. Also, Ash is higher level, thus I'm going to gain more XP. Do you see how ridiculous this battle is? All I have to do is survive this round. Which admittedly, throwing my two mages in the middle of the battlefield, not the easiest way to survive the round, but you know. Actually, can I take out one of the mages? I think I can reach that. No. Of course not. That would be too easy. How far do you go? You can only hit Eel and I up front, which means you're actually going to attack Aemon, most likely. So, I actually don't need to worry about Eel and I that way. Let's throw a perfect guard on someone. I'm going to throw perfect guards on the two... Boys. Because Kira can throw a perfect guard as well, since she has that fairy item. Here is fine. Fairy boots. Because I don't think any of them will die to two mage attacks. reload because I messed up and got too excited. You are going after Darius. Alright. So as long as you don't take more than 50% of your hit points, you're fine. Yeah. No matter what, the two mages cannot kill. Oh, no, that's right. There's going to be four attacks, not three. Got about the stupid chucker. Okay, this might still be bad. That's going to be perfect guarded. You're not dead, apparently. This is the one I'm concerned about. I don't think he's going to survive it. But he can block. Good job. Alright. Ash? Just be ridiculous. Just be ridiculous. Yeah, you didn't kill anywhere near as much this time, but you're also now level 31. <laughs> because why not level up every turn, right? Yeah. 
get rid of mages. Really? Get rid of mages. A little concerned about people getting hit by Dolph, because Dolph is relatively strong, if I remember right. 155 attack? That's pretty strong, actually. That's stronger than my swords folk. Not as strong as Dolan. We're gonna be able to reach the mage. Yeah, there's no way now. Okay, how do I deal with the mage? Now that the one person that I knew could reach hand. Oh, I can reach there with Darius. It's fine. Man, why the hell not? Actually, there's a good reason why not. has... Okay, you have soul water. Let's be honest, you're not going to be doing much otherwise. I don't even know what Royal Foil does. Maybe I should just check that. Let's just heal everybody for everything. Even though only one person is... Well, two people now are injured. But Hux is going to be taking special care of Ash. If I wanted to be period appropriate, I'd do Eel and I instead of Hux, but that's okay. Yeah, he only gained 40, 46 XP for that, but that's fine. Item, Life Orb, Ash. Also, there's a significant level difference now. But you don't gain XP for just restoring MP. With Life Orb. Life Orb, you only gain XP if you restore HP. Oh, fun facts. Hey, why can't you... Oh, that's right. It's Darius who's able to reach back there. Still have to deal with the stupid archer. Really? What the hell? You blocked twice! damaged are you? 79? I might be able to drop a couple of um okay first off, Diego, can you reach the Bahamut? Yes, you can that's all you're gonna be reaching, so that's fine Could have killed the Dark Mage. I probably should have. But let's go ahead and launch Dolph into orbit just because. Because that's silly looking. That's really silly looking. We still haven't even seen Dolph's attack. We're not going to. Because I'm going to kill Dolph with mages. I don't even need to kill Dolph with mages, I guess. Only I can cross dragons again. That might actually. Well, that wouldn't be enough. I'm at least gonna harm you, damn it. You know, I could just kill Dolph. Ooh, let's see how you handle this. That's right. Two part boss battle. Dolph, Dark. That's not the same Dark Angel as Vandal Hearts PS1. That's a Vandalier. That is not the class Dolph is supposed to be. Uh-oh. 
So this is where Dynamo Hum comes from. Oh boy, is her stats ludicrously high now, but in PS1 Vandal Hearts, he's a priest, not a Vandalier. Okay, I might have some problems. Maybe I should have actually taken this battle seriously. Oh crap, it's that area. I forgot. I'm gonna be reloading from the previous one, aren't I? Dynamo Hum does a lot of damage, if I remember right. Yep, I'm pretty sure Eamon's dead. Well, Eamon or Darius. Or both, potentially. Okay, that would have been nice to know that they changed it. Possible to live, but I'm pretty sure Darius is still dead. I mean, most of them can now be one-shotted by that damn archer. You're going after Grog? If Grog blocks, I'm okay. Nope. Why is it always the same characters that get killed? Okay, reloading, because I did not know that was a thing. I wouldn't have even bothered going after Dolph at that point. All right, I think I used internal ram? No, I used cartridge ram. So I remember messing that up and then thinking, meh. I have an email. Is this important awesome email? It might be. No. Just an update from my legislature. Legislator. Okay, I do have to kill that Dark Mage with this archer. Because this is the only character who can reach that Dark Mage. Foil. Oh, that's just healing circle. Um, Dynamo Hum is not going to be useful. I'm trying to think of what could be useful at this point. That's right, healing is 23 MP right now. I'm going to keep him back at the moment. I get counterattacked, I'm dead is the problem. Great. I have two hit points. The only hit point that matters is the last one, right? Ah, this time you actually took damage. Okay, I can make this work now. Hi, Herb. You have a soul water. You have a soul water. You have a high herb. You have soul water. Dumb. Can't reach. Damn it. I was hoping to be able to hit this stupid basilisk already. Nope, that basilisk is gonna be trouble.
close to being able to reach. I think just using soul water makes the most sense. Let's hit other people first. out that stupid dark mage. <coughs> Goodbye. Okay. Launch dolphin to orbit. use an actual item. We're almost done. Let's check out something really fast while this is going. I haven't ate. I haven't had dinner yet today. What? Uh, eating currently? Okay. to do something first. I can't reach anybody with perfect guard, so there's no reason to worry about that. Um, an attack spell is the only thing that would make sense. Frost Dragons or Shining Core. Ah, honestly, I think what I did last time actually does make a bit of sense. wave It's boring, but it'll do. So Dolph will die on the counterattack now. No matter who he attacks, Dolph will die on the counterattack. Oh, I can't actually reach Ash. Oh. Encore is not long enough range. Alright, let's see if this works. Only... One ranged attacker now. So Darius is going to be the one to get bonked. As long as Darius survives Dolph's attack, we're fine. Oh, Dolph's healing himself anyway. That's fine. Actual healing circle? Really? How do you heal so much from a freaking healing circle? Seriously. Okay. Kira... Please end our damn nightmare with a freaking basilisk. Thank you. Okay, now it's just Dolph. Go ahead and heal Darius, and just Darius. 
No, I mean, it's hitting up here too, but Darius is the only one injured. Two whole XP. Dolph can only attack those two because Dolph was stupid enough to step there. Or Dolph will heal. One of the two. Everybody else is going to start getting into position now. I've got multiple Apollos, it's fine. Let's launch Dolph into orbit. He has another one. Just update email. Bonk. It's only taking 70 from offensive spells. I don't think he's acting like he's weak against it either. We have 24 MP left. You can astral fire, but... Jeez, I didn't even realize how large that range was. Okay. Um, maybe you're going to be, like, way back? Although you're one of my healers. Flint, I want you closer. Frog, I want you closer. Zohar, I want you... To use a life orb on Ash. Aw, yeah! Dolan, you're useless. Diego, you're useless as well this battle. From now on. Dolan's just useless, period. We're going to put you way up here. That's everybody. Alright, Dolph should melee attack at this point. Unless he heals himself. Nope, melee attack. We get to see it! I wanted to see the melee attack, not specifically because of that, but because of the counterattack, which is the best chance I have at knocking Dolph down really low. Because I want to use as few other people's turns as possible. Demon Stone, sure. Move these goobers up. No one wouldn't be able to survive the Dynamo Hum anyway. Time to drop some rocks on Dolph's head. Think that might be enough damage to kill him. Or to bring him to his other form, I should say. Think that does about 50. It at least does 50. Alright. Ridiculous form, because apparently somebody decided to alter this. I don't know if that was the translation patch that altered it, or if it was um, the Saturn version of the game that altered it. I'd have to look at a Let's Play. All right, Eel and I launch the one with pie hit points or pie hundred hit points. Meow. We have liftoff. Sixty-two. Ooh. So little damage. All right, how much is going to be the crackback? I don't know. 
But that's not a good sign because that means that Dolph's a Vandalier, that means I can only attack from the rear with a melee weapon. Or a ranged weapon, for that matter. This might be really bad. Your attack power is 158. Your attack power is 142. Okay, still gonna be better to attack with Darius. Um, I'm going to throw a save here, because I forgot to save. And I'm going to see if Darius dies on a crackback. I think he's okay? He is in many blocks, that's for sure. Right, you do AoE heal. I don't think I'm going to need the AoE heal, because... Because Dolph's dead. From a shining core. Pretty sure Dolph's dead. It's possible Dolph lives, because I don't remember how much damage this does. What this says? You're dead! Yarg! You got 40 XP. You win! I love how both forms of Dolph are counted as two different enemies for this. I will admit that I definitely prefer Dolph being a Vandalier equivalent, but it doesn't make any sense. Think about it. Ash had to go through the Trials to draw a huge amount of crap, and all of a sudden Dolph is the same. Welcome to the ending. Ugh. It's finally over. And yes, I still have control. Father. Dolph, it's over. Let it go. Revenge for your father? I understand you better than you know. But after revenge is taken, nothing remains but a painful scar. Dolph, you can begin again. No, I'm pretty sure a genocidal maniac... Well, not really genocidal. Omnicidal maniac is not going to be able to start over. Just saying, Ash. With your genius, you could do much to rebuild this country. This country? Help this country! You still don't understand. This country was headed for annihilation anyway. I am merely accelerating and purifying the means of its destruction. Now the world will be shall be judged just as my father. Don't, don't do it! You must stop! Flames of judgment devour all you see, devour our souls, devour the world! Yep. You let it go. With the final effort, he released the flames. It can't be true. Who can save us now? It's, it's no good. It keeps expanding. <coughs> Should have grabbed something to drink before. I'll use Vandal Heart to disperse its power. Ash, no, it's too dangerous. Well, here goes nothing. Yeah! Doesn't that look awfully familiar? Just saying. Did... Did it work? Looks like the flames have gone out, but... Ash? Where's Ash? He, he disappeared with the flames. No! Ash! Come back, Ash! Because Il and I was in love with Ash. Ash. 
Ash, gone from this world, was never to be seen again. With Hell and Dolph gone, the Empire quickly crumbled. Hysteria was once more set on the path of democracy. However, the wounds left by the Empire were deep indeed. As a result of the purges with, which left many dead, the new government faced a difficult task indeed. In the countryside, thieves still make their own laws, and only the strong can survive. Ultimately, not much has changed since before the war started. People still must make their way by force of their will. Get to see all of the pictures for everybody. It's only when people lose this will that evil is able to flourish and take power. During this time, Ash's friends began to drift away. Dolan became a statesman and helped to rebuild Ishtaria. Also, I swear he looks like a monster in that picture. Bum, bum, bum. Yep, queuing the credits. Don't worry, there's still more to go. But we get to go through the credits while we find out what's happened with the rest of the team. Kira took off by herself on a journey of self-discovery. First and only time horses are seen in the entire game. <laughs> yeah, I have no more control for reference. while Clint, new head of the SDF, waited for her return. So, Clint's the head of the Security Defense Forces, so Clint is the one that replaced Clive. Recently, there have been rumors that the two will marry. It makes me wonder if they said Clive is okay just in the translation and not in the original in Japanese to, you know, let ash off a bit in the translation because we never see clive again he's gone as far as we can tell he might as well be dead so it makes me wonder about that diego returned to karachi to continue the family business I don't understand his pose, but, you know. Diego has a crossbow right there, so he's still an archer, apparently. Even though he... Well, I guess he could have used a crossbow. It's really hard to tell with the way the art is and how he's shown. Eamon became Darius's apprentice machine maker. See, this is what I mean by Aemon and Darius should probably be hawks as per lore. And don't worry, I will actually show what everybody looks like in their other classes. Um, I'm just not going to do that now, and I'm going to wait until after the new year, because that's going to take a while to set up. And I don't know how busy I'm going to be initially upon new job, assuming I have new job. Hopefully I have new job. Please tell me I didn't refuse job or got refused at the last moment. Sarah got a job in a nearby bakery to be close to Eamon. Mmm, baguette. That's actually a really good picture of Sarah, but... Her claws would be able to just slice that bread, and then you'd have pre-sliced bread. Problem solved. Oh wait, no, she didn't have claws. She used... Uh, yeah, sigh. Oh well. 
Still, she's a ninja. She can do that. <laughs> Ninjas can do that. Grog and Zohar sailed all over the world together. Least likely partnership ever. I still sometimes get letters from faraway lands. Notice that that was an I? Because we haven't met the narrator yet. Well, we have, but... You'll see what I mean. What translation? Huxley is always at home, working on his stamp collection. Maybe they took the um, credits from the PS1 version. That's possible. Yep, Huxley is just working on a stamp collection. <sighs> Dang it, Hux. Jadronka. And special thanks to Yukata Haruki. And special thanks to Toru Takihara. That's the end of the credits. But you know somebody missing. And die? The days go by, one after the other. An endless procession of tomorrows. But nothing new to write about. He looks significantly older now. Huh? Ocarina, that melody, could it be? Welcome back! I've been waiting so long. And that is the end of Vandal Hearts. The second ending. Because there's actually two endings to the game. Because if you're not a Vandalier at the end, you don't get that last part. Oh! There's an FMV? Okay, that's new. Although that's really creepy. Uh, that's Ash. That doesn't look anything like Ash. Also, this ending only comes up as a Vandalier, so why is Ash not wearing his Vandalier outfit? That I don't quite understand. Tears. And a well-deserved hug with arms that don't actually wrap around? Apparently, they couldn't do that with their little animator thing. But I didn't know about the FMV at the end. That must have been just from the Saturn version. Just like the opening FMV is different from the Saturn version. Look to be the same style. So yeah. That is the end. Of Vandal Hearts. Congratulations. You are the master of Vandal Hearts. Thank you for playing. See you in the next episode. We fall, we for the Tio, we fly, oh, father thou. We the foully sigh, oh, love, be the life, what I found. We the foul, so this is so gonna get copyright flagged. We fear. Thank you for playing. See you in the next episode. So, Vandal Hearts 2 is not a direct sequel of Vandal Hearts. They're not on the same continent, so it's really hard to tell how long of a difference it's been, because you don't ever hear about Vandal Hearts 1. There's a secret ending of Vandal Hearts 2, similar to the secret ending of Vandal Hearts 1 that I just went through, where you do encounter Ash, and maybe Eli and I, and that's it. The long and arduous battle that started when Ash and his friends were dragged into the vortex is over. However, there are still monsters summoned by Zeno and soldiers that are remnants of the former empire roaming the land, harming innocents and looting at every opportunity. 
In order to restore peace to Astaria, Ash and company take up their arms again to set things right. That would be really weird because I'm pretty sure Ash arrived back like 10 years later or something like that. I guess that's just the excuse to go to the random battles. So, these are apparently the battles at the end. I'm not going... I may end up doing them one at a time, I don't know. But I'm going to go ahead and save this here. Chapter 7. Oh boy, this is going to be weird. Because presumably we don't have any items that we can grab from, like, the shop or anything. I mean, I do have at least the salt water, and I only used one. Use the life warp, though, but... Okay, well, that'll be for another time. Um, sometime in January. Okay, bye, Internet!